simplify. So here we're going to have to apply the quotient rule for exponentials. So that rule tells us that we can subtract the exponent of the like base in the denominator from the exponent in the numerator. We can apply this law to the x's and the y's in this expression. Uh, and then for the numerical coefficients, 36 divided by 4 is 9. So we'll have 9 times x to the power of 4 minus 8 times y to the power of 3 minus negative 1. And all of this is raised to the power of 1 half. So let's perform some more simplification in the brackets here. We'll have 9 times x to the power of negative 4 times y to the power of positive 4, since 3 minus negative 1 is the same as 3 plus 1. And all of this is still to the power of 1 half. Now we're going to distribute this 1 half exponent. Um, so we'll have 9 to the power of 1 half. And then uh, when we apply the 1 half exponent to the variables that already have exponents, uh, the two exponents will multiply together. So we'll have x to the power of negative 4 times 1 half times y to the power of 4 times 1 half. Now we're going to convert this exponential form to radical form. So the uh, numerator of the fractional exponent will become the power on our radicand. So we'll have 9 to the power 1 as our radicand. And the denominator of our fractional exponent will be the index of our radical. So 9 to the power of 1 half is the same as the square root of 9. Now negative 4 times 1 half is equal to negative 2. So we'll have times x to the power negative 2. And 4 times a half is simply 2. So it'll be times y to the power of 2. The square root of 9 is 3. Uh, the negative exponent uh, on the x variable means that the x variable will end up in the denominator of our expression. Um, so the negative means that we take the reciprocal of uh, our argument. Um, so that would be 1 over x, and 1 over x squared is going to look like this when we multiply it by 3. Um, so we'll have 3 over x to the power of positive 2. And then y squared will be in the numerator of our expression, since the exponent is positive. So this is the final answer for this problem.